this part, I will show you how to crochet the body part. This one is will look like this. I will start from the top first. This way, this line here, and go away wrong how far of your body part you want it to be. I will show you this way, explain a little bit more. We will look like this, two piece together, then join this one in between uh, under your armpit. It's full piece, you look like this. So make this one first and you come down where your body part is my 32 inch so will be 16 inches each size so I will make about 15 because quite straight off a little bit of my materials so both sides 15 and join them together and after that carry on until how long your top you want it to be you look like this right i will start with uh 32 rings to start with this my size this body part i will show you same again make first ring i will start with chain four then double crochet into the first chain here go up all right like this and then after that chain three all the wrong all the way along until you've got enough of your body part this one i will make Chain three, one, two, three. Then we loop in front. My size, I make thirty-eight of this ring. Whatever your size, you come up with. Could make end up with even number. So, example, my I make thirty-eight. And whatever your size, right? I will make it there. And then remember this one, I will explain more. Don't forget this one, your off shoulder. This your top shoulder here. It go a bit low where you measure out where you want it to be, how low you start with of your uh how many ring you need to be so around here your off shoulder and come down under your armpit here that's enough for your size no matter how big or small you are if you start like that come down this way you will know exactly what how many chain you start with or how many row you have to increase down until you meet up uh your size under your armpit here and then chain four to start with three four come up here where this where we start to make this Ring here to double crochet, chain two, two double crochet back into the same stitch, and then skip one, come to the next one. Same again, two double crochet.
into two double crochet back into same stitch skip one go to the make the next one like this two double crochet chain two two double crochet back into same stitch look like this repeat all the way until the end of the row come to the end of the row so i got one left here remember where i start this with chain four i will end up with exactly the same so chain one and double crochet into this the first chain here at the end like this and then start next row chain three turn around and this one will increase make like this double crochet back into first stitch so this first chain three i will counting as double crochet so that mean one two and chain two and two more double crochet back into same stitch and then next one in between these these stitch here two double crochet exactly the same in the first row where we start chain two and then double crochet two double crochet back into same stitch next one same again two double crochet chain two and two double crochet back into same stitch repeat all the way around i will meet you the end of the row come to the end of the row like i say remember what i start with i will end up with the same so two double crochet back on top this chain three one two three here two double crochet back into same stitch exactly same chain two two double crochet back into same stitch like this it increase the end both sides exactly the same next one come back down to the first this row where i start this one will be this here chain four turn back my work here and then we make two double crochet back into same stitch like this And repeat all the way until the end of the row. Come to the end of the row. Same again on this where this first row here will be chain one and double crochet on top of the chain three here. Chain two, three, this one. Double crochet. And then next row we we'll come back to this row exactly the same chain three turn my work and then one more double crochet back in this first stitch here chain two and then two more double crochet back into same stitch 
then next one do the proportion chain two two double crochet back into chain stitch repeat all the way until the end and same again where to increase the like I show you here one this first row here chain three and of chain three chain four here and then we stitch of this row and then next one be the end of this chain three or double crochet here chain four sorry and double crochet and this one will be we stitch until you got enough of your body part I mean my will be uh, 32 inch I will make make 16 inches both this one more straight for me of my yarn I will make only 15 inches in both sides this one I finished my first piece of these uh, the top part you can see how this one increased to both sides exactly same you see it draw them together you look like under your arm like this so i have to make one more piece to join them together at the end and then i will meet you there i got the both side exactly the same both the second side that what i make the last one my first one make nine row before i finish the last one i got eight rows i will make to join first so one more to do this one i got eight rows before I start, so my next row will be this one. One, two, three. And then I will join to my another side, another piece of this one. So make facing where the right size. This one the right side together and then I will join my last row, my second piece to my first piece here. Chain three because I finish all feet exactly the book, exactly the same. This chain around and then I will make this one um, exactly the same be this my rows here so I got chain three there I join them and then we make two double crochet back to exactly the same this part Look like this and my so you can see all right row number nine first piece second piece show it together and then carry on until the end of the row i come to the end of the row this another size of the arm and then this one chain one Finish off my the end of the row first, and then the crochet on top of chain three here. Let's skip skip one two three. And then join to this side top of chain 
see all the proposal very in here. this and then after that carry on this normal or the rows if you end up with this one make one two three chain three and then like this and come back to do another half of that to the crochet to finish off this row, then after that, carry on normal all the way around. This one will go all the way around. Come to back to the front, come back to this size, same again. You can see this one will look like this, and then you join them together of that of shoulder that I make the first part of the top and this part to the end this side here go all the way around come up to the end of the rows this one here got two more double crochet to finish off this side my same again same then to uh, the crochet in between here as well. This stitch, this one to finish off in between here as well. Two more the crochet. One, two, and next row I will start in the middle of this stitch. I will make the crochet on top of chain three here. This one, don't pull it too high of the crochet. See how big of your two double crochet, how wide. That probably same stitch. That's why I make like this. Same. And then next one, one, two, three. Same again, make two double crochet to start with. First three double crochet counting as double crochet as well. And when you finish, just make like I show you here. Don't need to make one chain, just make double crochet on top of chain three here. And then just go all the way around how long you want your top to be, and then I will meet you the end of the row. I come to the end of the row here. I finish off the length, how long I want it to be. So last one here before start for next row of the edge, finish off the edge. So same double crochet on top here. Chain three to start in the middle for the next row. Chain three. And two double crochet back into same stitch like this. So this one will be half. When finish, we come back to this one to finish off. So next one, three double crochet in between these. We stitch here three double crochet and three chain three. Come back to these two loops in front loop here and slip stitch. Oops. Maybe too tight for me. One, two, three. Bring that and then slip stitch and finish off three double crochet. Same again back into same stitch two three and next one one two three like this exactly same this one chain three slip stitch to 
we have into there and then to lift stitch then start three double crochet back into same stitch again one two three next one carry on one two three chain three slip stitch into these two loop here then slip stitch three double crochet back into same stitch to finish off this one look like this carry on all the way around i will see you the end of the row come up to the end of the row i will finish off this part of the first one where i start need three more double crochet to finish off this first start here this one three and then then again chain three slip stitch and then i will go to this first chain three where i start here as well slip stitch exactly same time here this time is on it and then fasten the yarn put the yarn off so one like this all the way I will then this one the end here and then I will start next one is to put elastic to that uh, shoulder you how tight or how loose you want to hold that off shoulder or on um, on your shoulder so you just uh measure out and then i will stitch by hand together like this of the end and then i will show you the next one in this Part, how to crochet that elastic on I will make it out in between a uh, pair them like that and then measure out how big of your body part between your arm and your body how why you want it to be and then this one will be my um shoulder and then you come up to my body part this one and then this one will be my another shoulder this size this one i mark it out this one will be my arm my another arm this size and then this one come to body part in between your arm where your lower part this one another side of the arms and then you start to crochet the top together after i separate off the arm and body part you can see when i put them together my outside this one my body part this one off shoulder of outside one a bit longer than 
the body part. When you crochet, you should match me now if your is one part is bigger than another part. Make sure which way is the half way that um make sure it's equal both sides and then start crochet all the way to the end and then when come to the arm the arm one the crochet as normal on one line then go back to another side then i will show you this way how to crochet uh, to put elastic band on and then this one start first one with my top this way and then we make slip knot to join this yarn together the first one this one this one will make light is the um, single crochet well little bit difference i will make you can see the whole um this part go to the back part exactly the same where you can see where the this one We go to there and put this elastic together like this and then make one and then go to next one same go to there the end there this part this crochet the right side one and more and make four in this part one two three and last one four and in between this stitch make one more in between is exactly the same and stitch or whatever how many you want to make it to cover up your elastic and then next string i will make one more four four more in this ring and then it look like this I to carry on and then i will show you how i increase decrease the back one so i will it wouldn't be any difference you can do whatever you different methods to show you the next one like this increase this one on the back decrease sorry so this one the back there and then in front parts still crochet four in the same i will make one more two and then remember in front still make same and then i will jump to the next ring on the back to decrease the back make the same length of to the front so one more whatever you have to wait just to don't need to follow me everything what you think is good for you better for you like this then next one Okay, between here and then this one and make sure elastic not being squeezed as well so next one like this that what it look like in the back maybe you can see in the back but front you still cover up so I will make four in this in front. Oops, mm -mm. 
technological restart. Oops. Okay, that one. And then I see the trees in the back. Two, three, then last one, four. Alright, then look like this. Repeat all the way around. And like I say, come to the end of the row. I mean it to finish the same length of back and uh, front and back, I mean body part. This here, you can see where I decrease it this one will be inside body part this one the outside you see look really good and then after that we carry on this the arm part only one this part or all, all the way come to back to this body part again and then just start actually the same this part all the way around, I will see you the end of the row. Come to the end of the row, so this one here. And then I will make the last one. Go in back side. Make this way. One more. Do cover up and then slip stitch. The first stitch where I start here. That's all finished. That all done is done now. Is they look like this inside. You see all this inside look like this. This on my arm, this side, you can see that the end of the body part. Side as well, then you can wear both a eh? top shoulder on like this, and then you can pull it down on the off shoulder. And then, my this one quite long for me, it's nearly top up. It's my top, my body part, <laughs> it will be okay. That's all done. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for your watching. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. All the details about this top, I will leave below my video. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And then I will see you next time. Bye.